Okay, I'm Amanda and this would be my first attempt ever at vlogging. I got the uh, idea from Rachel over at Parajunkies. Uh, thanks for the idea. I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it goes, see if I like it, see if I embarrass myself completely. Um, we'll really see how it unfolds. She actually read an excerpt from Gina Showalter's newest addition to The Lords of the Underworld, The Darkest Secret, and since I didn't want to repeat what she read, I wanted to go a little bit earlier from Gina Showalter and read an excerpt from actually a, a smaller story that she did in the same uh, series called uh, The Darkest Angel, and that was in the book Heart of Darkness, which she did with Maggie Shane and Susan Grenard. And this is actually about the angel Lysander and the harpy Bianca. And I'll read the little blurb for you and then read a little bit, read an excerpt from the actual story and uh, we'll call it a day, I guess. The Darkest Angel by Gina Showalter, a Lords of the Underworld tale. An iron-willed demon assassin, the angel Lysander, has never known lust, until he meets Bianca. Spawned from the bloodline of Lucifer, the beautiful but deadly harpy is determined to lead the pure-hearted Lysander into temptation. Chapter 1 From high in the heavens, Lysander spotted his prey. At last, finally I will end this. His jaw clenched and his skin pulled tight, with tension, with relief. Determined, he jumped from the cloud he stood upon, falling quickly, wind whipping through his hair. When he neared ground, he allowed his wings, long and feathered and golden, to unfold from his back and catch in the current, slowing his progress. He was a soldier for the one true deity, one of the elite seven created before time itself. With as many millennia as he'd lived, he'd come to learn that each of the Elite Seven had one temptation. One potential downfall. Like Eve with her apple. When they found this... thing, this abomination, they happily destroyed it before it could destroy them. Lysander had finally found his. Bianca Skyhawk. She was the daughter of a harpy and a phoenix shapeshifter. She was a thief, a liar, and a killer who found joy in the vilest of tasks. Worse, the blood of Lucifer, his greatest enemy and the sire of most demon hordes, flowed through her veins, which meant Bianca was his enemy. He lived to destroy his enemies. However, he could only act against them when they broke a heavenly law, for demons that involved escaping their fiery prison to walk the earth. For Bianca, who had never been condemned to hell, that would have to involve something else what he didn't know. All he knew was that he'd never experienced what mortals referred to as desire. Until Bianca. And he didn't like it. He'd seen her for the first time several weeks ago, long black hair flowing down her back, amber eyes bright and lips blood red. Watching her, unable to turn away, a single question had drifted through his mind. Was her pearl-like skin as soft as it appeared? Forget desire. He'd never wondered such a thing about anyone before. He'd never cared. But the question was becoming an obsession. Discovering the truth, a need. And it had to end. Now. This day. He landed just in front of her, but she couldn't see him. No one could. He existed on another plane, invisible to immortal and immortal alike. He could scream and she would not hear him. He could walk through her and she would not feel him. For that matter, she would not smell or sense him in any way. Until it was too late. He could have formed a fiery sword from air and cleaved her head from her body, but didn't. As he'd already realized and accepted, he could not kill her. Yet. But he could not allow her to roam unfettered, tempting him, a plague to his good sense either. Which meant he would have to settle for imprisoning her in his home in the sky. That didn't have to be a terrible ordeal for him, however. He could use their time together to show her the right way to live. And the right way was, of course, his way. What's more, if she did not conform, if she did 
finally commit that unpardonable sin, he would be there, at last able to rid himself of her influence. Do it. Take her. He reached out, but just before he could wrap his arms around her and fly her away, he realized she was no longer alone. He scowled, his arms falling to his sides. He did not want a witness to his deeds. Best day ever! Bianca shouted skyward, splaying her arms and twirling. Two champagne bottles were clutched in her hands, and those bottles flew from her grip, slamming into the ice mountains of Alaska surrounding her. She stopped, swayed, laughed. <laughs> Oopsie. His scowl deepened, a perfect opportunity lost, he realized. Clearly, she was intoxicated. She wouldn't have fought him, would have assumed he was a hallucination or that they were playing a game. Having watched her these past few weeks, he knew how much she liked to play games. That's the about the first page and a half of uh, The Darkest Angel by Gina Showalter, one of the earlier books in the Lords of the Underworld series. I uh, hope you liked it, and here's to blogging in the future. Vlogging in the future. Ta-da! <laughs>